Good morning. We welcome our second and our third graders to Mass this day as we begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. As we begin, we take a moment to still ourselves from this busy morning and we recognize God's presence in our midst. And we come and we open our hearts to him. We welcome the Lord in our hearts. And we ask the Lord also to forgive anything we've done wrong and to forgive the sins of the world as we pray. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated, and now we're going to do our readings. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were at that time without Christ, alienated from the community of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, without hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have become near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. He may both one and broke down the divine law of enmity through his flesh, abolishing the law of his commandments and legal claims, that he may create in himself one new person in, in place of the two, thus establishing peace and might reconcile both with God in one body through the cross, putting that enmity to death by it. He came and preached peace to you who are far off and peace to those who and peace to those who are near for through him we both have access in one spirit to the father so then you are no longer strangers and sojourners but you are fellow citizens with the holy ones and members of the household of God built upon the foundation of apostles and prophets with Jesus with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple scared in the Lord. In him, sacred in the Lord, in him you are also being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, the Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord, for he proclaims peace, near and deep in his salvation of those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out 
of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield in its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The Lord speaks a peace to his people. Please stand to honor the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, gird your loins and light your lamps and be like servants who await the master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gird himself, have them recline at table, and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. The Gospel of the Lord. How many of you have ever felt like you've been left out? You know, maybe it's your brother or sister doing something with your friends, their friends, and then you feel like they're not including me. Does that happen to you? Oh, we, we've all kind of felt sometimes at one point or another. Yeah, that's not a good feeling, is it? It feels like, oh, everybody else is having fun and I'm not. So in today's first reading, um, St. Paul, he's writing to uh, the Ephesians, and he's letting them know that, you know, before um, people, when they come to worship God in the temple, there was a division. But he says to them, now God doesn't want you to, us to be divided at all. God wants us to be, be able to come close to him uh, like children who are able to come to their dad. So St. Paul was telling in their Jewish temple back in the time of Jesus, you know, there were five different areas. I'll use our church as an example, okay? So the five different areas, you see the steps going up to the tabernacle? So they would call that like the holy of holies. Only one person can approach that holy of holies, and that's the high priest. And then other priests, so from here on up, do you know what this area is called from the step up? This is called a sanctuary. So from here on up, this is the area for the priest. From those steps on up, that would be like the holy of holies. Only the high priest can go there. And then the front here where you guys are sitting, that first half of the church, this would be an area for all the males, all the men and all the boys. They could be here. And then in the further back, all the other seats in the back, that would be where all the women and all the girls would sit. So this is a Jewish temple. So everyone inside the temple is Jewish. Now, if you're not Jewish and you wanted to be a part and pray to God, 
Then outside the door, you could be outside the door. So St. Paul is saying, when Jesus came, he came to divide all the different barriers that would separate us from approaching God. So he says, now all of us, all of us, we can approach God like that. You know, we don't have to have a separation. So when you pray, whether you're a boy or a girl, it doesn't matter whether you're Christian or not. You can, we can all approach God, and God would welcome all of us because Jesus teaches us, who is God? God is like a father to us, right? So he's like a loving father. And just as we can go to our loving dads, and he, can, uh, he would pick, up, pick us up, he would play with us, we can sit on his lap. So he says to us, now God is like that to us, so we can always approach him. But you know, even though Jesus teaches us that God is very approachable, but not everyone wants to come close to God. Some people, they want to just kind of do their own thing. Some people, like uh, people who turn their backs to God, maybe they're liars, maybe they're stealers, maybe they are, um, but you know, just there's just some people that kind of want to ignore God. They turn themselves from, away from God, and they don't know that God is a loving Father to them, and so they stay away from Him. But Jesus said, for those of us who continue doing what Jesus taught us, when you're helpful to one another, when you're faithful, when you're kind, when you listen, when you obey. So he says these things that we do, we are helping to build God's kingdom of earth. We're helping one another, and we're making the world a better place. And so Jesus said that, when he comes back and if he finds us helping him and you're helping one another doing things for one another then jesus said oh you are blessed you are my children you are and the last slide is <laughs> sister uh so jesus reminds us oh the other way the other one sister go the other way can I have the... So we are blessed. Blessed are those doing good when the master returns. So know that we can always approach God, and then when we continue to do what he teaches us, he said, he, Jesus tells us, blessed are we when we do what he teaches us to do. Okay? All right, who has the petitions? Oh, okay, come on up and let's continue with the petitions. Let us stand together, let us bring our petitions to the Lord. For the leaders of the church, that it protects all of its members, especially those most vulnerable. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of the world that all may feel God's love and healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in need, that all will be provided for them in God's time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our planet and that all the people do their part to take care of God's creations on earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the homebound, that they will be blessed with loving companions and good neighbors, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick that they may be comforted by the healing power of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For all these intentions and those which we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord. The family members and friends of Mr. Sun Wong asked us to remember him. He died, so we pray that the Lord may welcome him to heaven and that the Lord may comfort the family members and friends who miss him. For this, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Loving God, you who are kind and merciful to us, hear now the prayers we bring to you, and in your goodness grant them through Christ our Lord. So you remember that song that I taught you last time? I start and then you respond with, blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Okay, so we'll do this twice, all right? Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness we've bread to offer fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, Blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, we've wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of our hands. It will become the cup of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever, amen. Please stand and pray with me, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created us, and when we were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed us through Jesus your Son. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise, theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With one heart and one faith together we pray, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Please stand. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Well, I want to thank our readers for preparing for today and also those who led us in the petitions. Thank you for preparing for our Mass today. I see you guys are dressed very appropriately and you guys are participating and responding. Good job, everyone. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is in the go in the peace of Christ. Have a wonderful day, everyone.